things are going wrong. What can or should I do? Well, in this personal blog, I'm going to share with you what I try to implement when things go wrong. Hello and welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, I'm Inworlds. I am a content creator and streamer based in the United Kingdom who produces content that will unlock your potential through productivity, successful streaming and creative campaigns. So if you find this or any of my other videos supportive, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. It really helps my channel and promotes the reach of my content to other people who might want to have a watch. So yeah, as content creators, we go through the extremes of emotions with our work. Well, that's what I think in any case. Sometimes everything is going well or even better than well and we're floating up on the clouds riding on that crest of a wave and then often without warning we can be hurled pushed or drawn down into the darker less promising troughs of our job but whether this reaction is caused by an email or a comment or just generally feeling despondent, it is important that we have a restore to positivity plan and so we can use it and implement it when needed. So I thought I would share my positivity plan with you. Let me know what you think and feel free to use it if it's helpful. So this plan has four stages or phases to it. So I'm going to talk about each one of those and what I try to do. So the first one is acknowledgement. Now, I'm not one to pretend that things are going well when they are not. I don't subscribe to the stick your head in the sand ostrich analogy here. So acknowledgement for me is the first step in coming to terms with what is happening. I try to remind myself that it is nothing personal, that it's something that I can work with rather than uh, against. Sometimes these troughs can actually be catalysts for change. And like I often tell people, we never know whether or not a change is good or bad until it's happened and we're actually reflecting back on it. So acknowledgement is the first stage for me. And I usually end this phase or this stage by going to bed. Uh, I always feel that a sleep helps me start to climb out of that trough. My next phase is detachment. And so negative emotions and thoughts can affect all aspects of our life. And when our mind is in sort of like this negative stage, it is difficult to see any positives at all. In fact, we often just see more and more negatives and can feel like the whole of our world or life is spiraling down that rabbit hole of despair. So I try to detach myself from the negativity. I've acknowledged it. I know it's happening. But what I try to do is compartmentalize it to reduce the impact it's having um, on all aspects of my life. I try to put it in its own little box so I can then start thinking about what I can or should do about it. I have to say that this is the hard part. This is the part that I really struggle with. And I must admit, I tend to watch film, watch a film or go for a walk or anything to take my mind off the actual negative um, aspect of the comment or anything like that. And I try to sort of like focus somewhere else now in order to encourage my brain to start thinking and get creative again. So the third phase is possibilities. And it's really impo important that I've come to terms with the negative um, 
impact or the cause of it and this that I'm in this trough. But phase three is when I start to work my way out of the trough. And this is when the work really starts. I do think that out of any event, there comes possibilities. We sometimes can't see them at the start, but a change in direction, a closed door, or even a flat out refusal can mean that other options are becoming available. You definitely need, or we definitely need to be in the correct mindset at this stage. When we think and create with our growth mindset engaged, we definitely see more possibilities. And these, this is why I need to acknowledge the difficulty and detach myself from it previously. We might even stumble into new areas that we didn't see before, which could themselves open up new possibilities. I'm in this stage now, yeah. So having written this script for this video, I've actually moved through that, what I call the acknowledgement stage and the detachment stage. And part of the looking forward and the possibilities was the writing of this script and the recording of this video. And the fourth phase I like to call looking ahead. So I've actually tried to phrase this more positively because originally I had a, a phase that was called don't look back. But I really like this idea and this concept of looking ahead and looking forward. We have to accept, especially as content creators, that we cannot predict what's going to happen in the future. Any change that we make now could open new doors or they could close others completely shut. But the important concept to focus on is that we don't no, it's a bit like starting our journey as content creators again, right from the beginning. We decide on a theme or that awful world of a niche and hope for the best. We engage with it. We create and share content about it and hope that the internet has the same passion for it as we do. And if not, we change the idea either subtly or totally and start again. Indeed, coming out from a hefty hit and that low down trough can actually make our ideas stronger. So those knockbacks can be seen as mm, that awful phrase of character building. Writing this script is allowing me to see new possibilities, but also allowing me to think ahead about what I could do in the future. I'm not sure whether the ideas that I'm having now will work, but is that not part of the joys of the life of a content creator? We actually try to problem solve or predict what might happen and we create content in this pursuit. We take an idea and a concept that we feel we can add value to people's life and share it. And hopefully, eventually, it will be shared to an extent that we become famous. Well, maybe not famous, but hopefully pay for our food. And that's it. My four phases of working from a knockback back to positivity. If you found this or any of my videos on the help channel helpful, then please do consider supporting the channel in any way you can by watching, liking, commenting, subscribing or donating. Until next time, stay positive, everyone, and I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye. Just, oh, I did all that video with my fingerless gloves on. <sighs> we'll run with it. It's cold energy bills, etc.